Hi, I'm Diane Gomez from Free Methodist Church Greenland Conference. Well, as you can see, our world today is experiencing this COVID-19 pandemic and a lot of people are busy looking for many things just to be occupied while waiting for the time to pass. Some look for new movies to watch, some look for the ingredients they need for the new recipe they have discovered, some look for their relief goods, and even our frontliners and our experts are looking for the cure to this disease and eventually eliminate this novel coronavirus. But what I want to tell you today is that above all else, we should not uh, get occupied enough to the point that we forget to, to look to the one who is always with us, the Lord God Almighty, for he is always beside you. And it is in him where you can find hope. Follow what Prophet Micah did during the tragic fall of Israel. He said in his book that, but as for me, I will look to the Lord. I will wait for the God of my salvation and my God will hear me. What a wonderful promise from God, right? Life is filled with so much uncertainties, but there is only one certain enough and it is God. He is certain and he is certain enough to know what tomorrow will bring. Our world desperately cries for hope. Maybe some have already given up. But amidst all these difficulties, all these uncertainties, God wants us to proclaim that hope, that hope that is in Jesus. Brothers and sisters, I assure you that God will deliver us from this crisis and God will help us too. Let us pray. Father in heaven, we believe in you, God, our unfailing God, our way maker. We are asking for forgiveness, Lord, if there are times that we allow ourselves to draw away from you. But we are so much grateful, Father God, and we thank you, Lord, because we have you in our lives whom, to whom we can call on and we can rely on any time. Lord, in this time full of doubt and uncertainties, O oh God, you're humbly asking for guidance and protection to each one of us, especially to our frontliners who continually serve your people amidst this crisis, Lord. Grant them strength, Father God, that um, they continue to stand firm in facing this battle, Father. Lord, as we face this battle, O oh God, we as your armies will always look upon you, our Master, our mighty God. We thank you, Father God, for giving us the assurance, Lord, that with you we can conquer this battle and you have already prepared that victory ahead of us. Lord, hear our cry. Hear the cry of your children. Our heart, Father God, always longs for you. We thank you, Lord, for that hope. We thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Together, let us proclaim that hope that is in Jesus. Good day and God bless.